Welcome to the Vortex, the Time Vortex. This is Strato Time, Lord Strato here for the next part of the episode. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying. Let's get on with the show. Alright, we're back. We're good. Alright, so... You just see some... The grass is back to normal. Um... Your uh, your ward comes looking at, and she um, Zora lands very quickly, and she's like, "Is, is everything okay? Is everyone all right?" This is my well, body. <laughs> I mean, most of us are all right. I say, kind of looking down at the uh, an office buddy at, no, 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 at no, a no, hard win. but we'll all be all right later. Uh, I'll fix him. What happened? What's going on? Well, apparently... So, do you remember how I told you about the time that we met Plague? Yes. Well, apparently she showed up again, had a conversation with Hardwin, and gave Hardwin her power for a day... And Hardwin was really bad at controlling it. Ah. So, I killed him. And, uh, now everything's better. Jesus, did you have to smite him so hard with that light? You can well, see that yes. one, that one was Nothvel. <laughs> Nothvel is, um, he's a man of God now. She looks over at Nathal. I'm petting a bird. <laughs> <laughs> yep. With your spider reaching out to pet the bird, too. Probably. Yeah, he's like, um... He's the guardian of the Tree of Life. Okay? Did you yeah. tell about the Tree of Life? What'd you say? Did you tell her about the Tree of Life? I probably did. Oh, wait. Uh, tree of you life haven't told Lily about things. the Tree of Life. Well, oh. the Tree of Life is in the point where... Doesn't, like, everyone in Fort Sister know what the Tree of Life is? They know kind about of. it. They know to stay the hell away from it. Yeah. They know. Yes, they know about it. It's. Uh, I'm not too concerned about keeping that a secret from her, then. Because she's going to be hanging out with us a lot. And she's like, oh, okay. Yep. So, he's a portal now? Yeah, effectively. Ah, <sighs> well, that's interesting. Okay, well, yes. Um, okay. I mostly just wanted you here in case something comes up, especially with everything that's going on. It's it's nice to know that you're here because there are things that you can help with if I need it. Gotcha. All right. So I'm assuming that you know, she sits there and starts pulling out like her backpack and setting up camp. Assuming we're gonna sit here and babysit. Body. We're gonna babysit his body for a little while. Why are we burying him or cremating him? Well, because we I'm don't. gonna fix him tomorrow. Oh, well, you're dead. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So you know magic. <laughs> I didn't know Paladins could cast Resurrection. Oh, well, maybe not me directly. I'm not directly going to fix him. Apple's going to fix it? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> and we oh. just leave it at that. How about that? Yeah, that would be a good measure. That'll, that'll probably come up enough. with her. That'll probably come up with her at some point, as yeah. a heads up. But... Oh, she will the one. She's like, okay. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay. Well, why don't we just let this one drop? <laughs> yeah, she lets it drop. I was with the one last. She's trusting in your judgment. <laughs> so, Langley shows up. Um, and see you, smart party.
Was I being followed? Or were there uh, other people coming this direction? Uh, yeah, Landley, um, you saw at least a group of 10,000 troops coming this way. 10,000? Jesus Christ. That's not good. Uh, we might, well, shit, we might want to move. The horse comes charging, uh, barely, probably barely stops right next to you and says, uh, we have 10,000 guys coming this way. Yeah, everyone saw the light and Helion in the sky. Uh, sky. Yeah, I expected that. I was expecting that many people. Ugh. Um, we, we, damn it, we can't... <sighs> I'm not concerned about Nothel, I'm concerned about Hardwin. Why are we concerned? You're the queen. Why are we con What did he do? <laughs> so, Something long story stupid. short, Hardwin met, with, Hardwin met with a disease, and she gave him her powers temporarily, and he fucked it up royally. Okay. I see the silver sword in his body. Throw him on the back of the horse. I'll go that way. Good choice. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Throw him over the horse. <laughs> Making sure it is secure in him. I'm like, I will take him that way. You can deal with the 10,000. And uh, how long is that supposed to last? Is it permanent or... Day. A day. Day. Where's okay. Brianna? Keep it in for a while. She came around lunchtime, so... Okay. Uh... <sighs> In that case, I would ask Brianna to go with them if possible and guard them, and mostly to keep her out of the way temporarily. But are there are any other horses in the area? She has a horse, yeah. It just yeah, just follow. I'm not gonna bother That's, being like grab the dragon. I'm we're like, gonna no, have my yeah, dragon. Like, we're safe. gonna have. She can hang yeah. out. We're gonna have to um. We're gonna have to deal with the Brianna thing, anyways, at some point, but. I'll ask Brianna, Brianna, do you know any good cave or spot to set up camp, you know, in that direction, <laughs> away from most people at this moment? Yeah, I know. Hey, it's all grass, Um, uh, But I knew, you know the small hut over there that my father owns that we use for, um... To camp during the summers. Would it be okay if we headed there? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Lead the way. <laughs> follow me. She had love that direction. I follow her. Alright. Alright, so I'm assuming you're waiting there, uh, Diana? I am staying there, yes. I, I am the diplomacy machine, and I may need to help Nothvel. Because Nothvel, <laughs> no, no, as we leave... all know, is not exactly a diplomacy machine. Yeah. Just, just leave him alone for him and see how do, good he does. He as must be tempting good. as that is. Yay. <coughs> That's why I just yeah. took hard one away. I'm like, they don't need to see him dead on the ground. That's going to look bad, especially if he came back tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, and we're out. <laughs> I'm in so nobody to keep it down. I don't want to go back <laughs> to this world. Hey. I want to be in the ditch world. Why are you waiting for the uh, um, troops to arrive? Hey, uh, like a um, cougar comes by with a That's elk in its mouth and like just drops it at full speed and just walks That's up. just weird, man. <laughs> Do you say anything, Nathal? Oh, sorry. I had muted, but like I said, I got hungry. Sorry. Uh, well, we can do some cooking, I guess. Yeah. While we're waiting, might as well be full when they get here. Yeah, you... Hope you Go guys have can cook. Yeah. You'd probably make an unchecked cooking check. How hard can it be? 
I'm gonna laugh. Uh, you're gonna get sick by it. But they oh. know they basically how to. They're not gonna cook it like delicious. They just they know how to prepare meat. <laughs> it's not hard to prepare meat. You cook it until it's not dripping blood. Well, survival is also a check that you can use. Yes, which I still have rings in. <laughs> so roll that survival. Well, that me. Hey, it's a class skill now too. Yep. It was always a class skill for me. Uh, okay. Well, it's still right. a class skill. But there's a feat for, or there's a trait for that. A trait for every class skill. Yep. All right. Um. Uh, you see the troops showing up. You see the Lord of uh, Fort Sister and um, Takoy's father right now. And General Takoy. General Takoy. They see both of you. Your Majesty. Side the light. What was going on here? That would be, have been the light of uh, Helion acknowledging his uh, Methuselah's successor. They look at you and Napo and they're like, Matriarch or you, Your Majesty? That would be the matriarch over here. They get off their horses and they get down on both their knees and nod their head. Though we are servants to um, Metreon, we acknowledge the power of the guardian of the tree. I nod as I'm chewing on a piece of leg. <laughs> ah, yes, our diplomatic mouth fell. Hey, you told me to shut up, remember? I did not say that. You were going to have to do some talking, sir. No, nope, no, nope, you. I cannot speak for you. <laughs> I cannot speak for the person speaking for Helion. Exactly. <laughs> you, know what, you know what? You worship Helion now. I don't worship Helion. It's not my fault. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> I will convert you. <laughs> well, since we're out here, um, you want us to escort you back to the city, Your Majesty? Or? I think that would be for the best, yes. It's been a long day. Oh, God. Very well, Your Majesty. If the matriarch here can put down his food. I, I well, you can finish eating. We're going to go rest up. Then. I look at everybody and go, or I could just go back to the city myself. <laughs> eh, it's polite. I mean, people are going to want to see you. It's not apparent that I need a mount anymore. Yes, but people are going to want to see you. Among them. Uh, Good luck. Gotta think about this stuff now. Yes, yes, yes. I wish you good luck from the uh, from death. <laughs> I look at uh, how God, we couldn't have eaten most of that elk. I look at the rest of the elk and I go. I know what we can do with the rest of this meat. Take the rest of it to the brewery. Give it to the peasants. Oh. Okay, you guys are... We're Our really far over there. away. I uh, say, we're really far away from them. Yes, I know, but... You guys are here, the brewery's over we, there. We will get them food, Nothel, but that would be a little impractical. I, I look at you and go, do you not remember 
how I got here. Well, yes, but why don't we not right now? Okay. <laughs> so be it. I guess we just head back to town. Hey, I'm sure Wild Animal will eat something then. <laughs> Wait, also, That's when the cougar comes back out feet. and takes the takes the carcass away. No. It, well, yeah, he will come back and finish the eating the carcass when they leave. Uh, but he's not going to stick around when there's less people. Yeah. Right now, besides that, he's not hungry. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, you guys make it back to the city. There's people. Out and about, and you hear the trumpets ringing. It's like, and uh, people are throwing like most bones out and cheering. Look at you, Nathal. You're even more famous. Yeah, I know. I just wave to the people as we ride through. <laughs> yeah. Trying to be polite. <laughs> Yeah. Indo just wanna smash things. Some people walk up to you and like, bless my child, bless my child. <laughs> uh, Diana's uh, muttering to herself, going, no one ever asked me to bless a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, this is. Out a few of them, I, I I will be nice, and I will cast. Uh, Virtue on a couple of the children. Right. It's a first level, it's a zero level spell, so it's just like, you know. It yeah, looks magical. Point. Yeah. <laughs> to make them feel better. <laughs> they go, oh, thank you. Thank you. They, they, tears in their eyes. Yeah, Diana, they're. Yeah, yeah, you notice that they're cheering a lot louder for. Then when you that doesn't really mind. Okay. It's just like, yeah, hey, there's no attention on me anymore. <laughs> just like wait a few surprise. minutes and there will be lots of attention. <laughs> like, that you're really looking at Mothville more than me. <coughs> yeah, I can go places now. As long as I take Nothville with me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Maybe we need uh, to get two hats of disguises, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe you should just have taken one off from Savin. They, uh... When you get to the city, I'm assuming you're heading towards Lanley's house? That's probably the plan. Alright. Alright, so Lanley, when you're at the <coughs> little uh, place, she kind of looks and you guys are like eating food and stuff. Yeah. There was some food at the in the lodge. If not, I would have asked her if if they had anything left from the hunt that was good, would have cooked it up right there. Yeah. Yeah, she got some bad for her luck. And she's like, "Farewell." Always tastes good when it's freshly cooked. Of course. She smiles. So, tell me about this other woman that not like, Hardwood likes. <laughs> I don't course. know. I don't know much about the other woman he likes. All I know is that. Do I know if she's a dancer or not? No, you know. No, she, you know nothing. She's a very famous dancer. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't know. I don't. I'm, love I, I, I'm one of the only people who doesn't really know that much about Hardwin's other love interest. Actually, the only one who actually truly knows is uh, Father Savo. I thought you told everybody. Yeah, I, 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 no, I only told one person. I, know I guessed Sauron. it because I was with him and her oh, at the yeah. same time and I saw them interact, but he didn't actually tell me about it. Ah, okay. No. okay, never mind then. Yeah, so I have a hunch, but I don't really care enough to talk about it. I'm just trying to remember what I could remember from Hardwin's conversation last round about okay. the other love interest that he was interested in. 
I'm like, I know it's someone back in Finland, but I don't know anything about that. Or who it is. Um, like, well, and just wanted to see how I'm marked up. Well, I was trying to get him to tell me who it was, so I could, you know, either try, try to help him with one or the other. Because <sighs> he is a friend of mine, as after all. I appreciate that. I would, I would want him to be happy with whoever he chose. True, it, it does make sense. He should have a right to choose. Do him, by the way. Though, I will warn you, he does have a child, not of his choice, though. She kind of looks at you. What? He's already uh, married? Have a child? No, he's not married. Let's just say when he first met Pestilence, she kind of forced him into the act and then had a child with him. I like how you preface that with let's just say like it was going to be some sort of like pared down version of what happened, but that was, that was basically just what happened. It's like, oh, the, the union of the of the of a uh, horseman is it is uh, how regarded as uh, I don't know how to say this, but it's kind of like to look down on, I guess. That's what it's called. Uh, as I said, he didn't really have the choice. It was either he agreed to it, or Pestilence was basically going to walk into, well, not or into the town that was up there. But it'd be like having Pestilence walking into Fort Sister and just wiping out the entire Fort Sister. Oh, you mean so... It was that. It was either have the child, either technically have the child or have her wipe out the entire town. Ah. I see. And because he's very much likes to protect people... And the people that he's around, whether they be Finlandians or Fort Sisterans. Romanians. Romanians. The Finlandians are the Romanians. He would willingly sacrifice himself to do so. He thought he was going to die, and surprise, here, have a baby. I see. And now he's currently trying to, right now he's trying to raise the child, and he would like to raise the child up proper, if he can, before the child either becomes Pestilence himself, or he would like to try to take control of Pestilence power himself, I believe? To try to save his son from that terrible fate? Ah, oh, maybe that's what happened. He asked for her power... To um, test to see if they can control it. <laughs> yeah, let's just say that. Let's just say that. I guess that would make sense. Mm. Makes a lot of sense now. Jeez. <sighs> Such a brave man. Oh, God, no. Oh, what did you do? Brave. What did you do? <laughs> Kind of Messing you more. over, because even I was going to be like, so what are your thoughts about this, about Hardwin? Uh, I'm gonna well, I was on the fence, but now that you said all these things, let me roll to see. Hold on a second. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. She, she uh, puts a... She sits next to him and, like, starts to, you know, look at, you know... And caress, caress him. Oh no, god damn you. I don't know if Diana told you, because he's not dead, he's been kind of stabbed and put into a stasis at the moment more than anything. Ah. Uh. That's all I would say, like, he's been put into a stasis at the moment. Oh, he ate an apple? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you did. Not me, this time it was you. <laughs> well, I... If he might have, I do not know if he did or not. 
But I know he's being held in the stasis with the weapon for sure. M m maybe. <laughs> uh, you have just given it away. Bad well, and... we're there's just certainly some things we're gonna have to talk to Brianna about. Well, uh, if she's yep. going, if she is going to marry him, I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to tell her about that. I'm not really sure how much of the looks at him and goes, yanks the sword out of his chest. Oh, oh. He has the sword out of his no, I stop him like, no. <laughs> Not till tomorrow. Out. She looks at it, and she sees it starts to heal. And she nods, and she stabs it back into his chest. <laughs> ah, God damn it! Just <laughs> I was free from this nightmare for a moment. Damn it. Dude, I, I hit you far into the negatives. The, it's going to take you a couple minutes after that sword comes out. Yeah, I don't care. He says, I see. He ate the apple, then. Okay, I did not see him eat the apple, so I was not lying. I, I don't... I don't. I still haven't figured out how taboo the fact is that we all ate apples is in this society. I don't know if that's an issue or what. Or I don't know if people would just be like, yeah, okay. I mean, So I what are your thoughts that. on him now that you know he's eaten the apple? Hey, you don't disagree with me, yet. I, I have to ask. I'm like, I don't know their thoughts on this. I'm like, I must ask. And I'm like, I'm in a room with one other person. I'm like, I need to ask lots of questions right now. Well, yeah, how about that? Uh, being with him for the time that I'm alive would be a joy of my life. And I know that each generation of our children will be under his watchful gaze. I'm not afraid of death. It's something that we've learned to accept since Mal never let us eat the apple anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm fully willing to live with my husband for the rest of my life. And when I pass on, if he chooses to marry another, I hope he thinks of me fondly as his first wife. I'm he sorry, Hardwin. I just got you forcibly married. No, you did. Just like, eh, that happened. I will. He's not married because he didn't agree to anything. No, he's not married. But the way Brianna's is, she's like, I'm going to marry this man and make him my husband. Yeah, I will stab you with the sword. Yeah, you have a good back. idea that she likes him. Yeah. I'm like, not to not to mention the fact that she's like, my father's cottage is over here. We can put him there, and then we'll set him down, and I will watch him tenderly the entire time. I'm like, yeah, you're not gonna get rid of her ever. This is your fault. I. This I... is partly your own fault as well, so you can't just blame me. No, it's all your fault. Damn it! <laughs> well, I'm still gonna blame you for it. <laughs> so, Diana and Napa, what do you do for until tomorrow? I'm assuming you're staying in town till tomorrow morning. Um, I was trying to decide between staying here and going out to check on Landley, because I I could fly out there and I could have um. Lillian cast invisibility on me so I can get out there without anybody noticing. If you want to do that, that's up to you. Uh, I think Lambley's probably got it covered, so I'm going to stay here. Alright. So, when you wake up in the morning, do you wait, you wait for um, Lambley and them to show up at lunchtime? Or... Um, I, I, well, I figure they're probably going to wait until the 24 hours are up, and I was planning on, then I was planning on invisibly going out to meet them around the 24-hour mark. You could just head out that way beforehand. Well, probably yeah. around, like, 22 hours in, I was going to head that way. Alright, was there anything specific you wanted to do before that? Mm, not particularly, no. 
that though or anything? Hmm. No. Uh, I need at the moment. Nacelle, did you want to come? Take a shot from that though, or do you want to follow Diana? Because uh, she could cast two invisibilities. I would like to not be dead. Uh, I think us leaving quietly would be good. Right. Okay. Not drawing attention. So All right. You case... guys show up. Yeah. It is around noon time when you show up. And um, Hardwin is slowly healing. I do tell her to prepare to stab him just in case. Yeah. Because I'm like. Gina. It, well, I don't know if she has to come around and take the mantle back herself, or if it lasts for so long and just disappears, so it's just something we gotta yeah. prep for. I, I think once we get there, the best thing to do would probably be put him out in a field, have me standing next to him with the sword, and then have, have everyone else back up. Yeah. Because that way, if he does wake up and starts diseasing things, I'll be okay and I can hit him again. Yeah. Or I can just learn to control you at that point. Alright, when you do wake up, you you see Diana standing over you with like a sword Nathal. right over your face. <laughs> yeah, Nathal standing over you. You do not see the disease spreading anywhere. Well, isn't this just a, a great way to come back to life again? Mm, well, he, he looks very angry and annoyed right now. I <laughs> slam my he's sword down around. right next. <laughs> I slam my sword down right next to his head and go, "Nah, he's fine." I take my second sword back. <laughs> I push Brianna and I'm like, go. Oh. You know, do you have any idea what I've just been through? Uh, I'm guessing you just got through uh, me stabbing you through the heart. No, it was, was that fun? far that... more than that. Out of curiosity, how much did dying hurt? I've The one time I died, it was kind of peaceful and magical, so it doesn't really count. You didn't die, you went into a new body. I technically died. Shortly. Kind of. I died for a very short period of time. Your body is walking around! <laughs> what? He's, and he's not day. me anymore. It's complicated, okay? I tell, it's like telling Brianna, go give him a hug and give him a kiss. Just go do it, it'll be funny. This... He's being I... I'm not a... Do you want to be a slut? That's up to you. Oh, I'm not being a slut. I'm just saying it would be funny. The others would laugh. Because uh, he would get embarrassed. He's not my husband. I know. I don't throw myself on men like that. I, I do help Hardwin stand up that, after a point and pull my sword back out of the ground and say, Sorry, Richard, thought it would be funny. Uh, whatever you say. <laughs> Listen, I, uh, what I have experienced while I was dead is much more terrible than just the fact that I was dead. Experience oh. dead. So also, uh, for, for the record, when, when, you, when people in Pathfinder do die, if they come back to life, they don't remember anything from beyond the grave. Damn it. Never mind. I'm just making you aware that's how that works. Yeah, but he wasn't really dead. He was more sleeping. Yeah. I was just imagining with it kind of was uh, he was in uh, Minecraft. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, you remember well, it was peaceful. So what yeah. do we do now? Hmm. Well, well, I do we want to go back to town, or do we need that, to go? I think find... I got a feeling of how the power works. So if I just got a chance, I could probably no. figure. Yeah. Hey, last time you push. tried that, I had to kill you. That was because I was too rude, unsafe around nearby. If we go to a safe area where nobody can get harmed, of course you would be there to be for us to be sure. Stab but, you. Yes, if there's anything happens, then I have the chance to actually see. I can control it. I think she never could. Hardwin, I'm not saying that you don't have the potential to learn how to control that, but I'm not sure you have the potential right now to learn how to control that, as you are. You're right, you're right. I think it's something that could certainly happen one day, but I don't think in the current period of time. Yeah. 
Sadly, you're right. Uh... Now. Speaking of which, where is... Where was that sack at? What did, the, what did you do with the sack? With the what? The sack with the body in. Oh, well, that's a good don't... question. I probably, like, threw it to Landily and told her to take it. Like, I don't think I just leave it there or take it with me. Um, actually, maybe I did take it with me. I don't know. So, apparently, the plague came, uh, came with the cup. For whatever reason, we'll say that I, I have it here now. I, I just go, the goblin? You're going to have to be more specific. Uh, well, I know. Actually, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. I, go, yeah. Me, uh, I, I, I was wondering what happened with that. <laughs> yeah, may also be uh, too harsh on her. I did not expect it to be this helpful. Wait, how did you even know about it? Know about what? It was laying next to your body. No, no. She was the one who came to me with it. I shrug. How would she know? Women have mysterious ways. Next time I see her, I have to speak with her about everything right now. You have the weirdest love triangle going on I've ever seen. It is odd. Shut up, this is no love triangle. If it was, it would be a square. Uh, I mean, finally, <laughs> yeah. you know this before anyone else does. Oh, by horse. Oh no, she's back. <laughs> I just, you just see me point. I look at her and just like, oh no, she's back already. Oh god damn it! Everybody who isn't me and Nathvel, please back up. No, I'm staying. Well, hard when you probably have to stay, so yeah. everybody else should back up. Wait, Nathel, are you immune to disease now? No. Okay. But I'm sure I can fix myself but you're, a bit. I was going to say, but you're Scott magical before. mortal. He still has to make the save, but he can probably cure himself. No. Actually, can we just, like, as soon as she leaves, would our having eaten the apple just cure us? Or does it not do that? Um, I imagine damage. we still have to save out no, of it. Yeah, we still have to cure it from yourself, yeah. Okay. Well, Nathal, you might want to back up too, then. You will die from it and come back to life and still be diseased and continue. Yeah, it's not... You, in uh, other words, if you if we do get diseased, we just have to sit there and be like, and wait till it's gone. Sit, lay there while we heal you, until you finally get over it. Yeah. She lands uh, where you are, Diana and Harbin. I am staying down. I'm not gonna leave. I don't bother moving away. <laughs> All right, so Napo and Harbin will report and save for me. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say I gotta reopen my sheet because I was refreshing and it closed. It's okay. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, couldn't yeah. I roll like that when? What? No disease. Hmm. Nathal didn't, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, that's what I should have done. I should have picked up some scrolls of uh, cure disease in town. I still uh, have two. Oh, you have two? Awesome. <laughs> we may need them. Yeah. He also has a staff feeling. I do have that too. I have Mal's staff. So, did you, um, I see you didn't if I know that, I probably sound. wouldn't have gotten so, something okay. random. I guess you're right, I'm sorry. You can control it. No, you're right. It's harder than it, it seemed. We did kind of have to kill him to make him stop dealing with it. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> but, I'm now still sure can... I can learn to control it. Just not at the current time. I need... Time to prepare myself. Still have the memory of uh, his skin, his flesh falling off. Terrible. <laughs> uh, well, if you understand that, I apologize of how what said was, uh, how uh, said it was useless. Mm -hmm. You did try to use it after all. Well, all I know is that I think you learned your learned a valuable lesson. Yes, but I'm still coming back and trying it when I'm ready. 
I'm gonna learn to control that. Or, we can train our son. That is not gonna happen. He's gonna have a normal life growing up. He's not gonna have such a fate. Um, if you want to do that, I mean, I feel that if only you would um, be very protective. People have to say. I already told you, I would do anything to protect the pure one. Hmm. Protect those who can't protect themselves. I see. I would even become the enemy of everybody just to protect them. And with it, by being the enemy of them, it's just that they hate me. I don't care what they think about me. As long as they're safe. Oh, and your majesty, the other horsemen are aware of your existence and uh, are patiently waiting for you at their designated areas. If you have a way of com communicating with them, please let them know that I do plan on visiting them. I have just been caught up with very important things, but I will see them soon. I see. I understand, I see. Where is it? How did you even know about the goblin? How do I know about him? How did you know that we was after him? I really hope she just says women's intuition and leaves it at that, because that would be hilarious. <laughs> he looks at it says there was a uh... You didn't army of goblins and trolls marching towards your land, and I didn't notice. I followed him and killed him. He was after my son, after all. I nod and <sighs> say, "Thank you for your service. That was very much appreciated." I did not do it for you, Majesty. I did it for my son. I understand. That being said, I still thank you for it all the same. If you want, truly wanted to protect him, yes, I'm thankful for what you did, but if you truly wanted to protect him, you wouldn't give him such a fate. That is I, I don't think she's doing it intentionally, hard one. Remember, she said when he comes of age, she will die, and he will then become pestilence. Whether... She likes it or not. Unless somebody else takes over. Instead. So either you kill my son, or you become pestilence. Or I take a place without killing him. She said that. That was one of the options. I died. I must die to give you complete control. But the concerning problem is, unfortunately, that there is now a group of uh, undesirables in the, in the city, the old capital of Transylvania, who are hell-bent on um, overthrowing the current queen. Oh, are they? Yes. I think I think I may need to have some words with them. Richard may also need to have some words with them. I'm coming along. I need I need, I need both training and stress relief after everything. Thank you for this information. Yes. You may need to raise an army or find a way into the castle to kill their leader. Mm. Screw an army. I'm gonna take them all on. Hard one. Calm down, buddy. 
She smiles. You're adorable, but let, let's uh, let's be a little realistic here. I know you're agitated, but we still have more business here, whether we like it or not. Hmm. I have a plan. Yes. Well, if you need me again, Your Majesty, or if you need us, did I already give you the um, the other horseman forgot to um, she hands you uh, like a what looks like a small case. There you are. Only if you absolutely yes, you can just see. I nod and put the case away. She bows again. Snaps her finger and the horse like and she hops on the horse and just picks up. Okay what guys, I have horse? an idea. You have an idea. I have a plan for how we can beat them. Mm. Okay. Beat who? Those guys who are against the queen. I mean, that I'm not immediately... Well, we do need to deal with that. So I see we got three things we got to deal with right now. Finding Dragon Scepter, dealing with those people, and I apparently need to go talk to the other horsemen. Oh, that's not all. We need to do so many things now. It was so much easier when you just have to... was just order to go slay some creatures, and that's it. Go home and party. Feast. For the Hard salvation. One. Hard one. Part of growing up means lots of different things going on, whether you like it or not. We have other problems to deal with now. Because, like, I most know. of my life is things going on I don't like. And tell but me anyways. It. <laughs> it's like, yes, I tell me about an adventurer. it. <laughs> I just need to see this as training. Training to become stronger. Alright. So. Any right. need to tell I'm leaving it up to you guys what you want to do. So you can go with have... Scepter. Um, go to Transylvania. Go to the Horsemen. Well, the Scepter's here, and I'm hoping won't take more than a couple days. So that would be my vote for the first thing. Yeah, it's, it's here. And we can get over there easily if we really need to, because the portal should be up soon. All right. And then Transylvania. The Where's Transylvania? You what guys want to go for the scepter uh, next week? Give time for Napoleon to fix up his character. Oh, I'm almost done. Okay. <laughs> I'm just finishing my spells. I could probably go deal with the scepter now. Then. All right. Transylvania's there. Are there any towers near Transylvania? Not particularly near it, no. No. I was almost done during the break. I was just... I've been sitting here debating what spells I want to take the entire time. Alright. So... I mean, we can head to the North Tower, if you guys want, when we get back up there. Well, that's... I don't know, because that's the opposite direction of Transylvania. Which one do we want to deal with first? Talking to the horsemen or Transylvania? Depends how quickly we... Well, we did need to raise an army too, maybe? I don't know. I I don't know if we're going to be able to be diplomatic with these guys again. Well, Trans we, as I said, we'll be able to get to Transylvania fairly quickly, though. I mean, we can get there like... If we we have our armies at the gate, when the gates are up and ready to roll, we can just march on Transylvania instantly. We could, but I'd prefer to settle this without mass bloodshed. I know. I'm just saying we could have them ready though if we needed it. Might so be if a we, idea. I have a plan for if we go to a war with them. I would prefer to either settle things diplomatically or attempt to take out their leader. So, um, what was your plan, Hardwin? We are gonna borrow the four horsemen's power to 
Fine. Mm -hmm. That is an option. I had considered it. But that is similar to the mass bloodshed option. Again, that is just if we are going down the route. Not that we have to. Yeah. So just Something to think about. But yeah, we, we'll, we'll go deal with the Dragon Scepter first. Alright! I also have to have I have land to return to before we leave as well. It's like, uh... And I need to talk to Red first before I do that, because I would like to know how many horses um, you would like to Are we going with. right now, or are we going to go tomorrow? Uh, that's what I was asking you. Do you want to go up to tomorrow, or...? Uh, probably a night's rest would be good. For yeah, A, we... hard to calm down, and B, well... because some uh, Lillian's cast some spells today. And needs to ready different spells if we're going to a dungeon. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to take time to do that. It's like the most I might do is make a detour back up to Fort Hope to go talk to Red. All right. Let me give me a moment to adjust what spells she has prepared. It's like the plane of fire, right? Yep. Might be a good idea to buy some scrolls of resist energy. Mm. Well, if you, you should be able to see a stairway. Yeah, I do. Guys, uh, down. Uh, to see what? The stairs. Stairs. Make sure you put your hit points up and everything else. Everybody can see. Uh. Put them in the green one, so we know which one's out. Oh, oh, the green one, that's right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm gonna fix that. Yeah, make sure you fill out both bars, so that way you can see it. There we go. Sorry, give me a moment while I finish this up. Hmm. You're taking Lily in with you, Ryan? Yeah. Don't forget your hit points there, uh, Harwin. Yeah, I just... I did put it in just a moment before. Why didn't that go in? Uh, oh, also I have to take a look. Didn't I also have a power or something? Sorry. Oh wait, no, no more. Yeah. The only person who does not regenerate is Methyl. Uh, is also Lillian. Yeah. I thought Nathal was also immortal just without having to eat the apple. I am. I just don't regenerate. Yep. Yeah. How's it work then? He just, just doesn't. Do you, is it just you can go as negative as, as possible and you don't die? Is it. I don't. Um, he could. Well, it's kind of weird the way it works. It's basically, uh, it goes into like a slumber until uh, a certain time and then he just wakes back up. Okay. Think of it like, uh, probably the best way to put it is like, you remember the old druid sleep from D&D? &D? Yeah. That's a good way to describe it. Okay. I did not tell you. That's basically, that's the way it works, yeah. The old... That's the best way to describe it. The old druid sleep. He sleeps for a long time.
Hey. I don't know why that's glitching out. Lovely. What happened? For some reason, when I am got my armor set to dex, it's saying I'm impaired to a 1, and I'm like, I have a max dex of 4 with my armor. I should be able to use my 3. <laughs> huh. So I'm like, I'll shift it to my intelligence so it looks proper at the moment. I don't know why that's not working properly. It's trying to say I've got a minus two ACP. I'm like, where are you getting this minus two? Are you wearing something? Just the elven chain. But it sh the armor check penalty should not be applying to my armor class. Um... I don't know. Yeah, it's like, that's weird. <coughs> Are you looking at it now? Hmm? Let me look at your character sheet. Where is it under? It's under defense, armor class, and it said, if I switch it to dex, see how it's got the little yellow block around it? I'm just like, I don't know where this reduction to my, where, why it's saying max dex of 1. I'm like, I can't adjust my max dex, because it should be max dex of 4, not 1. Hold on. Uh, you can do that if you go under your equipment. You can change it from there if you have put your armor down. That's why I do it from now on. Equipment. And then find your armor, yeah. I have a light hey, armor. armor. Oh, it's saying I had heavy armor for some reason. Yeah. It could be your uh, weight as well. Did you put any weight on anything? It may, I might, but maybe it's counting some of the stuff that was on the mule? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that fixed it for some reason. That was weird. Yeah, okay. Okay. Alright. We're waiting for uh, Anna and... I'm just double-checking one more thing. Since it's... Uh, like I said, it's going to be close to time. Do we want to ro just role-play the interaction with the dude? And just call it. Yeah, know? I'd probably be the best bet and just finish and then start this next round. Yeah. All, All right. right. Uh, I'll let you continue doing what you were doing there, Diana, while we're done. And so we'll be ready next Sunday. Is everybody going to be? Uh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Um. So finally, when you get back to town, um. I'm going to head to Fort Sister? No, Fort Hope. Okay. Alright. Find Red? Yep. Alright. Red's sitting there. With his wife, eating dinner, I'm just sitting there. Hey, Lightly. Hello, Red. Stopping by for some dinner? No, I'm here for business. <laughs> ah. How would you like to get back into your old business of raising horses? He's like, his eyes sparkle a little bit. Ah, uh, you. But I wouldn't give. I'd love it. How many horses would you like to, would you find an acceptable start? Any amount, really. Um, but a good start would be about a thousand horses if you wanted to really start going breeding. I knew that other 700 was going to come into play. <sighs> Tell you what, um, I kind of trade for the horses? Well, I have about 450 horses at my disposal right now. 
with another 700 that were being gifted for a for my hand in marriage at the time, but I had to decline that. Also came with the land. I can return the land, but it's trying to figure out how I would then get the other 700 horses. Hmm. Yeah, horses are pretty expensive. Um, do they trade them? That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I could offset some of the stuff with pigs, but I don't have enough pigs to buy that many horses. Horses are more expensive than pigs. Um, I could, um, Could what exactly? Um, I could <laughs> grab a hold of some of the other farmers who have pigs and livestock and cattle, and we could set up a pretty good trade for large number of cattle and pigs and all that for the horses. Of course. Um, but with the portal being active soon, it will be easy to get them up here because they would be yeah. coming from Fort Sister. Uh, well, I'd be more than happy to go down there and look and make sure they're good. Of course, that was one thing I was going to ask you to come down and take a look. There are some other people looking to sell horses other than just the gentleman who was going to gift the 700 for the marriage agreement. Mm -hmm. the what? Are you planning on staying in Fort Sister? I don't plan on staying on in Fort Sister permanently. I do have an estate down there if you would like to stay there. Well, what I'm saying is you can trade some some of your state for the horses. If you don't plan on staying there, you want the horses. Not watch them for you. They be your horses. Up to you. I will see what I can do for the extra horses, but as I said, I do have the four hundred and fifty readily readily available. For well, that's a good. That's a good start. I can build from there. It's just going to take longer. And then if you want to work on trading for more horses from there, that is totally up to you if you want to build up your stockpiles that way as well. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, Fort Hope still needs uh, pigs, so can't really just stop Breeding pigs called turkey either, so kind of good. Or two things. So we'll work on that. I'll go with you. Very Over. well. See you dinner. I will wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lady Decoy looks at you and says, "Your sister says hello, by the way." Oh, she goes. Oh. Is she doing okay? Yes. She's taken a liking to Hardwin. She drops her... <laughs> Honey, I need to go with you. <laughs> but that can slap some sense in my sister. I don't know if you're going to be able to do that. Why? What do you do? What kind of horrible, horrible thing does he have over my head sister's head? Uh, Nothing he horrible. To... She was only asking me questions about what 
he's done and I merely answered her questions and she just seems to love him more and more. I don't know why. Ah, I gotcha. She's become Hold smitten. On. She gets up and walks out. I'll, I'll meet you in a moment. Uh -oh. I have a bad feeling. What have you done to me? I, I swear, everybody are after me. <laughs> I'm like waiting for her to try to pike me. I'm like, hey, hey, stop this. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault this no, time. Be, um, when Lady Takoya comes back, she has Duelene with her. Oh. Who is this? Oh no, oh no, no. <laughs> I, I look at her and say, who is this? I know I know this is a Duelene, but why did you bring Duelene here? She smiles and is like, um, women's intuition. <laughs> ah, no, I'm oh um, god, no. Is this the like other that. woman he's interested in? She winks and she, Duelene's like, what? Oh, uh, no, no. I have this crush on you, Duane, that you've been running around asking about? She says yes. You mean General Hope? Oh, wait. Oh, no. You'll have to address Night him Hope. properly now. He is Sir Hope. Sir Hope now, because the Queen has made him a knight. Hmm. Well... You want to know who it was, do you? She goes, oh. Well, you could have told me privately, not with all these people around. Well, I'm just with like, yeah. two other people around? Yeah. She's like, I just wanted to... Would you like, like to surprise oh. him? No, you get Duleen. devil. I swear you are the devil himself. Well, I want to see what he's up to, yeah. Of course. Well, he's probably down not. in my estate down in Fort Sister right now. Hmm. Eating dinner because it's that time frame. And he is a friend of mine, so I do invite him to the estate to stay since they have no other place to stay. Well, since we're finished eating here, we might as well go. So, so Nathal, um I'm like, is Red gonna get in his finery? He's all dressed up in his outfit and everything, or is no, he just gonna? No, he's he's just dressed normally. He's not like in a farmer's outfit, but he's he's dressed like a normal noble. Okay. Um, so Nathal, Diana, and Hardwin, you're eating dinner. In Landley's house. Enjoying life. Yeah. Uh, I'm feeling great right now. Get on my life. But, but before, do, before, it's like before any of them go in, I'm like, hold on. I need to talk to the maids, especially if you want to try to set up a quick dance for him and surprise. Oh, yeah, I hate you. Okay. I love you, Landley. <laughs> <laughs> I like, hate everyone. Like, sure. Oh, I will, I, I will talk, to, I will talk to them to try to set up for the entertainment with Duleen to dance for, to be like a surprise thing for Hardwin. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go and be the plague again and then uh, uh, give everybody diseases. Right here now. <laughs> uh, I, I have to change my, I'm not a character heal anymore, I'm a character heal now. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. So I have them set it up so they can, like, have her come in and just be, like, dancing or something to surprise Hardwin. Oh, God. Okay, so... Um... I won't even go in, in myself or have, you know, the sister or... or Mrs. Takoy or Red go in. I'm like, no, no, wait. This is gonna be funny. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. If anything, I will be like, let's go in through. Let's let's go in through the kitchen and watch from there. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, they, they, yeah. Um, Lady Takoy is all for this, and she's like, <laughs> she sees her 
And you notice that um, her sister is there, and she's like, I just, she's going to be able to tell. You, you realize that, right? Oh, what? no. That this is who Hardwin is, the other girl he's spitting with? Uh... Yeah, no, no, and I are pretty smart. Hey, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. I hate you so much. She says, are you sure you're working for Helion and not Metreon? I like a good joke sometimes. Landily don't work for no one. And besides, <laughs> when, when I have to deal with that pointing at the sheeted bust right now, I really want to see something funny right now. I mean, if you want to take a look at naked Metria, or, or the naked king of the dragons, go for it. It's under the Prince sheet. Of the dragons. <laughs> Prince of the uh, dragons, go no, for I, it. I'm okay. I, I love my husband. That's fine. <laughs> but as I said... They, that was uncovered when I walked in, and he laughed about it and didn't take effect that I want. This will be better. So while you guys are eating, um, the mates come out and go, um, Landley has uh, gotten a dancer to come by and dance for everybody. Is Dulin uh, uh, disguised as a mate right now to give him an even more surprise? <laughs> I, I... Yeah, it's up to her if she wants to come in as a maid. No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, at least give me some joy of this. Some what? Some at joy. least give me some joy. She oh, might dress this. up as a maid later, just to mess with you. Oh, no. God. <laughs> so, while you're sitting there in that ball, you see uh, Duane walk out. With their dance outfit on. Uh, so, are you trying to hold? Uh, so, what happens when you see Dulin come out there, Arvin? I look at her and for more. It's just like, oh shit! I, I think about some sort of stuff. Okay, no. Okay, Pegu, Pegu, Pegu. Why is he here? Why is he here? <laughs> Instantly nervous and sweating. Well, roll a uh, bluff check. Uh, bluff check. Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, do I have some good bluff? Do I? Have... I have four bluff. Damn it! Oh, please, please be good. Please be good. Uh, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And she rolls her sense motive. Uh. That was Diana. Yeah. Oh, Diana thinks that Hardwin's cool. Huh. <laughs> Please, hard eh, Interesting. I didn't really notice. Huh. So that's why uh, you made him a knight, I thought. He's, he's relaxed, you know, You're like, oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Look at him go. I, I thought so I really liked her. Huh, interesting. Yeah. So you're like, probably rethinking. I don't know you, whether you rethink this is a woman that you liked or not. So I'm Diana just... had a hunch about it, but now she's not so sure anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a plus three. Oh, no. Five. Oh, dear Lord! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, she clearly sees through it. <laughs> He's panicking. He's panicking. In her... In her perspective. All right, the, but the, you can. When we end this, uh, we end the scene with uh, Landley with this smile across her face as she sees um, Duling come out. Not full look. I mean, Harvard look at Duling. Rihanna looks at Duling, smiles, enjoys the dance, but then looks over at Harwin. Then. Who clearly is just around. trying to play cool. <laughs> and then looks back at Duane, then looks back at Arvin. And <laughs> you see the acknowledgement in her eye. She she's is on aware. her love rival. And she she looks at Duane. And uh, go ahead and roll me Diana another sense motive. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, uh -oh. yeah, please, please. I told you this is a Yanda. This am, is I, a Yanda. am I rolling one too right now? Since I'm watching from the service. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's, that's what? 
Am I rolling one too since I'm watching from like the servant's entrance? Sure. I'm too. Oh man, she I'm... looks really happy to see Dulane. And I am too distracted by Dulane right now. <laughs> And try to play cool, which is uh, I'm, I'm only good. working on Diana. <laughs> Diana doesn't okay, know Okay, that's nothing. a 28. And uh, good Lammy, luck with yeah, you can you can tell that if uh, looks can kill, <laughs> thing would be dead right now. All right, then we'll end it there. Oh no, that's a good spot to end it for this. This week, mm. throwing gets uh, four thousand experience points. Yeah. Okay. That is a lot. Um, will everybody be able to play next week? Yeah. I should be able to. I hopefully we'll be able to go into the dungeon this week uh, around. And hopefully Dolin will not be killed by them away. <laughs> Only time will tell. I, I swear. do not know uh, because I'm going to be doing something on Sunday, so I do not know if I will be back in time for the recording, honestly. The 16th? Yeah. Uh, do we want to do it for the 23rd then? Probably the better bet, yeah. Okay. Alright. Awesome. Got a family <laughs> thing this upcoming weekend that's going to be Saturday going into Sunday, so. Alright. Alright, go ahead and uh, sign us out there, boss. I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know, leave a like, subscribe. We'll see you next round. As for now, this is Strato Time! Lord Strato, signing out. <laughs>